If you've been following my channel for a while, you know that I'm a big fan of Harley Quinn. So I was very happy to be able to secure this uh, pop and tea set from Target. I managed to uh, get an order in, a pre-order in online, and it shipped out um, just a couple of days ago. I just received this a couple of days ago. Um, I did not realize an issue with it right away because I was really getting ready to go away for the weekend. But um, I came back, you know, for my little getaway, my little quick two-night getaway. And um, I took a look at this because I was getting ready to film. And then I realized that she is missing her right arm. And it's not as if it's loose in the package. No, it's just missing altogether. I really don't understand how this happens. Like, I have actually seen Pops before with, like, a missing limb that, like, kind of fell off in the box. Like, it wasn't, you know, secured properly. But, uh, yeah, this is very unusual that the arm is not even in there at all. That's definitely a big, uh, you know, mistake that was made here with this particular figure. So, yeah, I did go online about it with Target to uh, basically report it, you know, as being an issue. And, I mean, all it basically said on the website is to uh, take it in to exchange it because it's not currently available. So, I'm really hoping that I can get a replacement with the same t-shirt size. I, I don't know if that's going to happen or not. I'm going to try. You know, we'll see what happens. But yeah, I guess I got to go in and, and go for a refund, basically, because I'm definitely not going to keep this with a missing arm. I want the figure, you know, done properly. Um, and it's funny that I mentioned this to a friend and he pointed out that, you know, I, th this is not the detachable kid, you know, so obviously she should have both of her arms. You know, that's pretty disappointing. But yeah, I'm actually going to wait. And I'll go into Target in a couple of days because the uh, the latest Blacklight Marvel Pops should be dropping. I don't know if my Target is going to get them right away. My Target doesn't always get things immediately. But they have been pretty good overall about getting exclusives. So, like you know, I might be able to find a replacement for this. I just don't know if it's going to be the same shirt size, though. But, yeah, th this is disappointing to say the least. But I just wanted to go ahead and get the, the bad news out of the way. And I'm going to go ahead and slide that off to the side there. And I will get into figures that I've received recently and also what I picked up over the weekend as well. As a matter of fact, relating to the Suicide Squad, I do want to go in and show you all this t-shirt that I picked up from Box Lunch. I think it's pretty cool here. So, you know, it's basically just one of the um, posters that was available for the movie. And it does have the main characters there. So, I really like the look of this. It's kind of rare for me to... Uh, you know, just randomly pick up a t-shirt, you know, if I'm not out really looking for them. But, uh, yeah, this one I just had to go for. I think it looks really cool. I'm looking forward to actually wearing this one here. So, like I said, I got that from Box Lunch. If I want to go to Box Lunch, I have to go to the one in Columbia, South Carolina, which is uh, like an hour and a half away from me. So, it's a hike, basically, so I don't get there very often. But, yeah, I was glad to find that. And I did pick up another figure from Box Lunch as well. So, I did get the classic Loki which um, they had plenty of him, basically. There were plenty of him available. Now, there was a Hot Topic in this mall as well, but they did not have the Alligator Loki, so I'm still going to be on the lookout for that particular one. But yeah, like I said, this one was pretty easy to find. I do think it's cool, and I, I really did like the portrayal of classic Loki in the Loki series. Yeah, and I, I recently shared that I did get Renslayer with Miss Minutes, and um, yeah, some of these others, I, well, I got the... Uh, Kid Loki as well on um, the metallic kid Loki. I did get an order in for that one. And um can't remember if I don't think I actually have President Loki just yet. I have to check and see to be sure about that. But yeah, I'm gonna probably get a couple other figures here based off of Loki. This one I'm gonna leave in the box right now. I will probably open up a couple of figures here, but I'm gonna leave that one in the box right now. I think it's pretty easy to see what it looks like while it's still in the box there. Now, um, I did also go to that Hot Topic, like I said, and they didn't have any pops I was interested in. They didn't have the Alligator Loki, but they did have the gold figures. Okay, so this is, of course, a new line of figures by Funko, and right now it's focusing on music artists and athletes. I've not seen any of the athlete ones in stores just yet, but I know they're on the way. But yeah, I definitely had to go for this Notorious B.I.G. one. And there is supposed to be a larger size of this one on the way. I think it's going to be um, like a foot tall or something like that. It's, it's going to be a larger one. I'll go for that one as well. But yeah, I definitely wanted to go ahead and pick this one up for right now. And um, I might end up just keeping both sizes of it, you know. Um, I think it is a pretty cool figure these are not as, quite as large as i thought they were going to be initially i thought they were going to be a little bit larger but 
if you look at it next to an average pop there it's about the you know it's, it's the boxes are about the same almost it does look like the actual figure might be a little bit taller or maybe about the same size you know it's just yeah i don't know why i was thinking that these would be a little bit larger here but it's very comparable to the um the rock candy figures you know if you've been collecting funko for a while you may have seen the rock candy figures around so yeah as far as the size of the box and the size of the figure it's very comparable to the rock candy figures but yeah i do like this uh biggie here in the white suit i think it is pretty cool Across from the mall that I went to, they do have a Second and Charles, which is a pretty good store. And they do actually, um, they buy pre-owned pops. So they have new pops and they have pre-owned pops together. It's a really nice mix of figures. Um, and I did check them out and I managed to get an exclusive there. A Now you see, it says here Second and Charles exclusive. But of course, I think this was originally with, um, may have been Books a Million. Not 100% sure about that, but basically Books A Million exclusives are sold at Second and Charles and they tend to have the Second and Charles sticker on it instead. So this is the Flocked Kong with Battle Axe. I will get this out in a moment. I really want to get a look at this figure because uh, this is one I've been wanting to add to my collection. I do have uh, the Godzilla here with the uh, the heat ray or, you know, atomic breath is what I think of it being. Um, I still don't have the Mecha Godzilla with the atomic breath. I really do want to get that one as well not so worried about some of these other figures here but uh yeah like i said i was glad to actually see this one and i actually did pick up an extra one of these that i'm adding into my prize pool so yeah that'll be um a prize pool option here as well but yeah i'll get that one out in a moment to take a closer look at it and um i went to a store called uh i think the name of it was heroes and dragons um, I have to check to be sure about that. I may put a quick image up to uh, let you all see what that store looks like. Um, one of the first pops I ended up picking up is something that I didn't plan on getting. But when I saw it up close, I don't know, like I, I got that hit of nostalgia because I used to really love this cereal. Um, so I ended up getting Fred Flintstone with Fruity Pebbles. And like I said, definitely did not plan to ever get this figure, but just seeing it up close, I was like, that looks pretty cool. You know, and I did used to really like this cereal. Don't eat it so much anymore, but um, yeah, you know, simple. I just I just like the look of it. So yeah, decided to go ahead and add that into the collection. Um, probably not going to worry about the Barney, but who knows? I see it in store. If it if that nostalgia hits me and I'm feeling like feeling it at the moment, then maybe I will pick it up as well. Okay, and then um, I did have some deliveries come in as well that I'm going to go ahead and get to. Now, for one thing, uh, I did a Macari order for one particular figure. A friend actually ordered this figure for me, and it got canceled on him, which, I, you know, that's not his fault. I understand that. So I, I searched this out on Macari because I still really wanted to get it. And we have here the Glow in the Dark Black Panther, and this is the uh, Mech Strike Black Panther, which is a Target exclusive. Um, he has both of his arms. That's nice <laughs> there. But um, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to check out the glow on this one here in a moment. And the buyer was actually selling this along with the uh, Captain America. And most people, they were selling the Black Panther. Um, I forgot what the price was. A lot of people had a very similar price for the Black Panther. But this particular seller had the Captain America with it for only like two dollars more for like the average price so i was like why not and um you know i was thinking at first i was like maybe this will go into my prize pool but when i saw this up close i was like i like this you know so i'm actually going to get both of these out in a moment i do want to take a closer look at these two particular figures here and then um some other orders that came in here in fact another one that i got from mercari very glad that i got this and this looks so cool i'm gonna leave this in the box and actually go ahead and put it in a protector here very soon i did manage to get king killmonger very much looking forward to checking out this particular episode of what if to see what this is all about but just in terms of design love this figure here i think it looks so awesome and of course we've seen him in this outfit before you know like his version of the um black panther suit basically but I also like there that he's holding the head of um, which appears to be like an Ultron bot, possibly. But yeah, really looking forward to checking out that episode. Who knows? Maybe it'll be the one that drops this week. But yeah, I'm going to leave that in box and I really want to go ahead and put that in protector. I think that's going to be one that I, I really am going to value even more over time. I also got a delivery from uh, Funko.com. So we did get here the um, the unmasked uh, Bloodsport 
I don't think I shared this one before. I may have just talked about it before. I can't even remember <laughs> for sure. But just in case, you know, I'm making sure I point this one out to you all. Um, I can't remember if this is still available or not. Some things have been selling out on Funko.com, but it's been taking a while for some things to sell out. I guess it's because they may be produced in a larger number or maybe the interest isn't quite as high. So if you're interested in this one, you can check to see if it's still available on Funko.com. But I really love this movie. I'm going to get this movie on Blu-ray. I know it's going to be back on HBO Max soon enough, but... I don't even want to wait. I just want to go ahead and have the Blu-ray. And I think it does have a director's commentary, which I cannot wait to check that out. But uh, yeah, really enjoyed this movie. I think Idris Elba um, seems like he really had fun doing this movie. And I just, I just like the characters overall, you know, so definitely had to get this one for the collection as well. And it's another one. I think you can see it pretty well as is. So I'm going to leave him in box. I also got in one from Box Lunch here again from What If. We have T'Challa star lord this was a really enjoyable episode and um you know it felt like kind of a nice uh send-off for chadwick boseman as black panther in the um mcu i it, it just was a really cool episode um i definitely got a little emotional with it towards the end but um yeah th this was very cool you know so um and this one of course what makes it exclusive with box lunch is that it has a metallic paint job so i might actually get this one out to take a better look at that paint job but yeah, definitely glad that I got this exclusive. Still not sure if I'm going to get the um, the unmasked FYE exclusive or not. I'm considering it. I, I do like, too, that it has the watcher symbol there as well. So um, it's be interesting. I'm, I'm really wondering if they're going to do a pop of the watcher or not. That would be kind of cool if they did. And then also something arrived here right before I left for the weekend. My um, What If box, which... um. You know, I've seen the contents. I will admit I'm not super impressed by the contents here, but I guess I will go ahead and get these items out, take a closer look. You know, I, I think I do like the, the T-shirt. I got to get a close up look at it, but I, I think I do like the T-shirt that comes along with it. Now, it does have a, um, you know, a pin in here, of course, for Captain Carter. So I do like that. Okay, and then we're going to get the t-shirt out. Oh, we actually do have a, um, a sticker or decal as well here of, again, T'Challa as Star-Lord. So I like that. I think those are nice little, um, you know, additions. You know, they're not, not anything major, but I think they're cool, though. So let me go ahead and get the t-shirt out of the plastic. Yeah, I really like this color. The color is pretty nice. It's a brown, but it's not a boring-looking brown. And then, of course, it has their Captain Carter on it. Join us now to victory. And if you've seen the episode, then you learn about the Hydra Stomper. Um, I, yeah, which is pretty cool. I'll just say that I'm not going to spoil the episode in case you haven't checked it out yet. But check it out. You know, if you're interested at all in a Marvel What If, go ahead and check it out. They're, they're pretty good episodes. But uh, yeah, I do like this shirt. I will be rocking this one here. Yeah, that is pretty cool. I, I Honestly, I think this is the coolest item in the box. It's actually the shirt. So within this video, you see I got two new shirts to rock, which I'm very happy with both of those. Let's go ahead and check out these pops, which I'm not sure how I feel about these. I got to get a close look at them. All right, so first of all, we do have here the collector. And this is the collector, of course, based on his What If episode, where I at first I didn't think it was uh, Benicio Del Toro. I thought it was he replaced or something, but it turns out in the credits, it's him. He just played the character very differently, you know, um... But I guess it fits, you know, the episode basically. And with animation, I'm noticing that the voice actors, they definitely have to speak at a faster rhythm. They do have to change things up a little bit for the sake of animation. Um, looking at this one up close, it is kind of cool. I think I will, um, you know, keep this in the collection. And I think I will unbox him as well. Like I said, I'm just going to unbox a couple of the figures here, not all of them. But I think I do want to get him out of the box and get a closer look. Yeah, so that one is actually kind of cool. And then we have here post-apocalyptic black widow this episode has not aired yet i am kind of wondering um what else is going on like in the particular episode that she's in i wonder if this has something to do with the zombie episode never know you know we'll see what happens with that but um this one looks it looks okay as well so i guess i could keep this for the collection also but this, i'm gonna leave it in box for right now i think because i'm still debating that just a little bit and I won't lie, the whole situation with Scarlett Johansson and the lawsuit with Disney and all of that, uh, it does, it's a little bit uncomfortable, I guess I'll say that, basically. But um, I do understand where she's coming from with the lawsuit. I'm not putting her down. I understand 
where she's coming from. It's just kind of sad that things ended up going this way, basically. But yeah, this is kind of a cool looking figure. But like I said, I'm going to think on it a little bit more whether or not I really want to keep this in the collection. But yeah, like I said, I'm happy with the collector. I think I do want to get a closer look at him. And I'll, I'll check out some of these other pops here up close. I'll start off with the Flocked Kong pop here. Which I do think looks pretty good. They, they did a pretty good job with the flocking on here. Of course, you know, the flocking is the fuzzy material here that, uh, you know, recreates the idea of fur basically so yeah that does look pretty awesome there he did a good job with that i like his expression as well this was a good movie um I, and i know eventually I, I only watched it once but i know eventually it'll be back on hbo max so i will be checking it out again in the future with his scratches here the one thing that's a little bit odd okay so they did good with the scratches here it's actually sculpted it looks a little bit odd when it goes into the fur I guess it was kind of difficult to kind of get that across that he scratched there but it has these raised pieces that I don't know they just look a little awkward but other than that this is a pretty awesome figure here I really do like the look of it and the, you know they, they went with these orange eyes here almost reddish but it's really more of an orange it just really makes him look angry <laughs> you know so I do like the look of that and I enjoyed the movie um, I, I know some people have some mixed feelings about it but I was really entertained by it. It's still the the human characters are what you know, and eh, but at least they weren't as annoying as in some of those other movies, you know. So yeah, overall I thought it was a pretty entertaining movie, and we got a lot of uh, you know kaiju time on screen. You know, they really did show those characters a good bit, Kong and Godzilla and Mecha Godzilla as well. They got some good screen time, so I was pretty happy with it. But uh, yeah, this is a really awesome figure. So happy I had that in the collection, and I'm glad I made the move to pick up an extra you know to add into the prize pool that is pretty awesome there so here we have the mech stripe black panther which looks pretty awesome here i'm definitely gonna have to check out the glow because i can't remember off the top of my head what exactly glows maybe it is just the lighter pieces here but yeah the, the mech strike figures overall not super crazy about them but i do think a couple of them look cool and yeah this black panther for me was a must still don't know why some orders got canceled i don't know maybe it was a production issue or something but definitely glad to have this in the collection now i really like the look of this one i think it's pretty cool and like i said i think the captain america is pretty cool as well initially i was thinking that maybe the shield should be bigger but no it, it actually does make sense the way that is done because it kind of reminds me of the shields that captain america had in um in game basically or may have been infinity war I guess I would say Infinity War, but um, yeah, I like the way those shields were designed to where they were like stabbing weapons as well. So that's what they kind of did with that design here. So it works. It looks pretty cool. So yeah, I do like this as well. Yeah, they, both of these figures are pretty awesome. I'm glad that I did go ahead and get them together. Then we have the collector here. Like I said, definitely a different look for the collector. I kind of like these like goggles or glasses that he has on there and this very sleek outfit, you know, with the big... Oh, I didn't even realize he had all this detail on the back and the paint job looks pretty good on his uh, cloak there as well. I guess you would call this a cloak. Got the fur and everything going on around the collar. So yeah, pretty cool looking figure here for the collector. And I think this is the third collector pop that Funko has done, if I'm not mistaken. And I do have all three. So yeah, I'm def this is definitely a keeper for me. I still don't know about the post-apocalyptic Black Widow. I might have to see the episode. And then if I really enjoy the episode that she's featured in, maybe I'll want to keep the pop. But I just feel like she's not quite different enough from other Black Widow figures that have been out recently. So we'll see. I'll tell you, the paint job on this, um, it's not like a super shiny metallic look. But it does look pretty cool up close still, though. And I like that it has the, you know, the flame coming out the back there. I really like the way that Star-Lord can kind of fly around with those simple things there on his heels, basically, you know, um, on his feet, you know. But, yeah, pretty cool figure here. Like I said, not super shiny, metallic, but it still looks pretty awesome, though. Yeah, and like I said, really good episode. I'm really enjoying What If. I think What If is a great series, and I'm looking forward to... You know, there, there's possibility, of course, for more pops from that series. We'll see if Funko does them or not, but it, it's really entertaining. Now, when I went to that store, um, again, I think the name was Heroes and Dragons. I also did get two other items. One of them I'm not going to show because it might end up being a Christmas gift for a fellow collector. But then I did um, find a Harley Quinn statue at a really good price. I could not pass this up. 
Yeah, so I do have this um, black and white Harley Quinn here, which I don't think I want to open in this video. I mean, this video is mainly about Funko Pops. I know people that are checking this out are mainly into Pops. It does show some other, you know, statues back there. But um, this is one I think I will wait and open this up in a, another video in the near future. So if you're interested in Harley Quinn statues like this, like I said, you'll see me opening this up in the near future because I actually do have some other ladies of dc things that i want to share or at least one particular lady of dc some other items that i want to share so i will share that in the near future on the channel um one last thing i will share in this video before i wrap things up here i did share this on instagram if you follow me on instagram you will see some things kind of ahead of time that i want to share on the channel and i did complete a set recently here so when it came to the fun con event especially the whole box of fun thing and everything I decided to go with Team Funko Force and I'm still really glad that I did that because this is um, still my favorite pop out of the set. Um, but then I did decide um, to go ahead and get the Pop Ranger as well. This one, he's, he's cool overall, still not like my favorite, you know, definitely not one of my favorites, but still I think it's a cool pop when it comes down to it. And I decided just to keep it going to go ahead and complete this set. So then I have the Proto Punk, which the Proto Punk is pretty cool, especially up close. He is pretty cool. And then the one that seemed to be the most popular with people, which still kind of surprises me, but it's a cool pop, but I didn't think it would be the most, um, you know, draw the most attention. But yeah, here we have the Fanatic Fury, which actually was the first one to sell out. You know, so each one of these 5,000 pieces, and I'm very glad that I got this set together. And this is a good example of patience paying off because initially people were trying to get triple digits for these. And I was like, nope, not worth it for me. So I just waited. I, I had a feeling that, you know, if enough people were trying to sell, eventually the prices would come down. And they did, you know, so I, I got each of these for, you know, each of these three here for reasonable prices. And I'm glad that I have the full set right now. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure I put these into protectors as well you know nice additions to the collection but um yeah so i just shared a lot of figures here i'm not even sure how many pops that was and how many figures all together in this particular video but definitely let me know um, which ones you like the most which ones are standouts to you which ones are you adding into your collection let me know also you know if you picked up anything recently and if you've had a similar experience with a funko pop you know arriving with a missing piece you know tell me your story about that as well like i said i really hope i can get a replacement for that um diamond harley quinn but we'll see what happens here but uh you know regardless very happy with the figures that i have here overall so i'm looking forward to your feedback thank you all so much for taking the time to check this out and i will talk to you all again real soon